to our campsite. Uh, last couple days have been absolutely crazy between moving into the storage unit, cleaning out the apartment, getting the bus packed, getting to the campsite. This is our current living situation. We have a lot of stuff, but once the bus is built out, everything will have a place. But right now, the bus is not finished, so everything does not have a place. So everything is just everywhere. So it should be interesting trying to live in this for a little while. But we're camping. We have this camp spot for two weeks now, which is awesome. Gonna make, make ourselves at home a little bit while we keep working on the bus. I'm um, really excited to be here, a little more calm now that we're here. This will be night one in the bus. We're gonna go get some beers, get some food, and enjoy. First night in the bus. I feel super cool. Oh, I'm cool as shit. <laughs> I feel really at home though. Like this is super cozy. It's not complete at all, but it feels like ours. Cause we've, yeah. yeah. We got a place to sleep. We got a roof over our head. We got a puppy in a bed. Yeah. This is way more than what we have when we're backpacking and camping. Way more. I mean, we have a fan running right now. So and we have lights. The bad and that's your luxury. <laughs> right, that's luxury. But super nice. Feel really at home. Kind of cozy. It is a hot, hot mess, but when is our lives not a hot, hot mess? We're in the bed, and we know we parked on an angle. You know we did, because we didn't have an option. But we don't have the little bricks or stilts or... The stacking blocks. Stacking whatever. blocks, whatever you want to call them, to, like, level off our vehicle yet. So tonight... We're sleeping on an angle. <laughs> We're rolling this way. <laughs> and that's how we're gonna be for the night. Sorry, Ron. It's, it's like the tilt of world. Everybody gets squished. Oh, look at the end. <laughs> yep, man on the end. life bus diaries number one we pulled back into our campground tonight and i practically started screaming at ron because there was another school bus parked right next to us and i was so excited like another schoolie in the wild we met a really nice couple and it was just awesome to have another school bus parked next to us i can't tell you how happy i was i'm about to take a baby wipe bath because <laughs> that will that is what we're resorting to right now in between showers. I'm completely fine with not showering every day. The fact that our shower is not constructed yet is fine. But the fact that most of our days now will be work and construction days, especially when it's 80, 90 plus degrees outside, we're sweating full of wood, dust and crap and debris. It's really hard not to be able to take a shower after that. Other than that, not being able to shower when we're really yuck, sweaty, doing construction is kind of a downfall. And the fact that our kitchen looks like this right now, a um, little bit of a hot mess. So hopefully within the next few weeks here, we will have a finished kitchen or we will at least start working on our kitchen. But we have so much extra wood. If you can see, all of it's piled back here right now, and some of it is under the bus where we're parked. So we're really trying to finish a lot of little projects before we take on the kitchen, because the kitchen's gonna be a huge project. We're gonna have to buy more wood, which is gonna take up more space, which we don't have, because we're living in a construction zone. But it's still really good. Um, had some really nice days so far. Sunsets have been gorgeous. It's been nice to be able to have a fire. Um, it's a little hectic trying to do a work day now, working in the space that you live, but we knew that and we were expecting it. So other than that, it's going good so far. 
We're not as motivated to work on the bus as I thought we would be. As we wake up in the morning, we just want to chill, have our coffee, have our tea, have breakfast, just enjoy the morning a little bit before we get to work. I think things will change a lot once we get out of the campground because um, we specifically got a campground for the first two weeks, but now we're like, okay, we're also on a budget. We don't want to pay anymore. So we're going to try to find as much free camping as we can. So Ron is working on a side project. It's been a couple days since we have showered. Two. Two days. Three for me. Well, I showered the day before. Okay, anyways, it's been a couple few days. So, we were originally just going to get a membership at Planet Fitness and pay 10 bucks a month to go use their shower. But instead, we're going to build an outdoor shower. That was pretty awesome. Yay for the outdoor shower. So Ron and I have both taken outdoor showers before. Um, first, I think in the Dominican Republic when we were on our honeymoon, we stayed at a treehouse resort and we were in like the forest in the mountains. We had this beautiful rock outdoor shower coming right out of the side of the mountains and it was amazing. But there was nobody there and we were completely isolated and it was awesome. And then when we were traveling Indonesia, the first hostel we stayed at had a gorgeous outdoor shower. But again, it was kind of next to a river. Um, the way it was set up, it was really isolated. There was no one there. It had a private entrance. Yeah, it had a private entrance. Here is a little different because we have a ton of neighbors all around us. And um, so let me show you the bathroom is right up this little hill. And then if you look down, now here's our shower. So I don't think anybody could see over and in. I hope they couldn't, but um, it's a little less private, but it worked really well. It was awesome to finally have a shower and to show you the setup that we had with our um, hot tap. It actually came, so it comes with a shower spout and that's what we'll be installing inside. And the little hook or I guess mount came and it's magnetized. So it just sticks to the side of the bus. How awesome is that? Boom. And this moves. Yeah. This is an on off. Yeah. Two showered happy people. You know, one thing you can't do in an outdoor shower like this is throw it in a campsite. What? You can't pee in the shower. Mm -mm, no peeing in the shower. Ron, you don't do that anymore. Nobody pees in the shower. I do all the time. It's going out to the world now. Everyone's going to ever Tell me the world ever... doesn't do that. Tell me the world doesn't do that. Come on, guys. I'm at you, least the majority. Peed in the shower? Yeah. I'm at least the majority. 51%. First day of laundry, we did laundry, and there was grocery shopping right next to the laundry, which was awesome. But found out that there's a really good pastry shop nearby. So, cheers to us for doing laundry first day on the bus. We're gonna go treat ourselves and blow our budget on some pastries. We made our way to the little pastry shop. First off, look at how beautiful this is. The package alone is spectacular. And are you ready for this? Are you ready? This is the pastries. So we're gonna do this smoothly. Ah. I forgot the name of this one already, but I know it's got um, some kind of dough and chantilly cream. Some kind of ice. dough. Some kind yeah, of dough. pastry. Shortbread. Next up, we have cream puff. Last but not least, we have our little chocolate cake. update two weeks in this is our last night at this campground that we have here we're doing some hot dogs veggie dogs on the grill having some local beers um, we are free burden from here on out 
don't know where we're going, what we're doing. We're just going to figure it out. Um, it's been a good two weeks so far. Didn't get nearly as much stuff done on the bus. But um, Ron worked pretty much the whole two weeks. So now we're both free and clear. We can concentrate on the bus. And yeah, we will see where it goes from here. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest